I'm Rose. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today is very exciting because I am reacting to the trailer for season three of Stranger Things. This trailer came out a couple days ago, but I make videos on Fridays, so here I am watching it late. Uh, I'm super pumped because I love Stranger Things so much. It's, I think, my third favorite Netflix original series. Like, it goes The Great British Baking Show, Dogs, Stranger Things. And I feel like I've been waiting for years for more episodes. When did the last season even come out? I don't even remember. That's how long ago it was. Anyways, let's watch this trailer. I don't know what to expect. I know that um, this season takes place in um, summer and there's like a mall. That's it. I don't think anything else has been like released about the season yet. Okay. Oh, let's take a moment to appreciate my beautiful laptop case. I don't know if you can even see it, but I've got some fun stickers on here. We've got Moana, Queen, and of course, lots of Harry Potter. You know me, I love Harry Potter. Okay, let's watch this trailer. Stranger Things 3 official trailer. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm scared and excited. All the emotions are happening. Ooh. I like the aesthetic. <gasps> Dustin! Yes, he's my favorite character. And I am hoping that the fact that he's the f one of the first things you see in this trailer means he is going um, to be featured very prominently in this season. I'm not going to get my hopes up, though. Where is he home from? Oh, he went to camp. Wait! <laughs> what the heck is happening? What are all these robots? I can't tell if I'm supposed to be creeped out or not. I don't know what's going on. <gasps> he has a fair of faucet hairspray! Yes, I remember that from the last season. That was one of my favorite moments when Steve told him to get that hairspray. Also, this wallpaper is the ugliest thing I've seen in my entire life. <gasps> yes, oh my gosh, look at them. <gasps> Eleven's hair is so long, oh my gosh. Also, her nose is bleeding, which means she's using her power, so she's the one controlling the robot, so it's not scary. I see. things I've ever seen. I don't know what to say. That was just amazing and hilarious. And I hope that that little beginning scene is a good representation of the season as a whole. Because if it is, then I am 100% excited and will die if I don't see this soon. What are they doing? What is that creepy thing? Oh my gosh, Charlie Heaton. When he got deported, um, I was really scared that they would like recast the character or like get rid of him completely instead of waiting until they could get Charlie back on another work visa. And I am really glad that they did not cut him out of the show because it would not be the same without Charlie He and as Jonathan Byers. Also, what the heck is Nancy wearing? <gasps> Billy! Oh my gosh. I hate him so much, but I love him so much. Also, his hair is as glorious as ever. Hopper! Oh, jeez. Oh, that's adorable. I hope they're best friends in this season. We're just gonna sit in my basement all day and play games for the rest of our lives. Oh, speaking of Will, uh, I really hope that 
he gets to be happy this season because in the first season he was kidnapped and in the second season he was possessed by the mind flayer he deserves so much better oh that was so cute by them all. <laughs> I love it. Whoa, that was a cool shot. That guy and like the neon things with the gun. That was so cool. This season looks really emotional. One summer can change everything. Whoa, what is happening here? What is that? What is that, guys? I think that the mayor might be evil. I'm getting like some potential antagonist vibes from this trailer. Um, maybe after I finish the trailer, I can make some more predictions, and then after the season comes out on the 4th of July, I can make a video saying my predictions were right. Don't hold me to that, though, because I might forget to make that video. That was really intense. Also, what the heck was that thing? I don't, what was that? Oh my gosh, that is terrifying. The Demogorgon was pretty scary and the Mind Flayer was pretty scary, but I think this is gonna be the scariest thing of all. How did the Duffer Brothers even come up with this stuff? That's horrific. And not only is it scary, it's really disgusting. Oh my gosh, I did not need that close above its mouth. Oh, the theme song. Oh, they're so cute. How many children are you friends with? Those aren't his friends. He is their mother, Mama Steve. Oh, that was a really good trailer. I love it. I'm even more pumped for this season than I already was now that I have an idea of what it's going to be like. The trailer didn't reveal much, but I wasn't expecting it to. I knew it would be pretty vague. Um, so let's see if I can come up with any more predictions. I think that um, Hopper will die. There weren't really any clues that he would. I just think that, like, based on stuff that's happened in the past in the show and, like, the vibe that I think this season is going for, I'm pretty sure he'll die. Um, I don't know how Billy's going to play into things. He was only in the trailer for a second. I don't know what he's going to do. Um, this new monster, um, I think that um it's not going to be like the main like evil thing they're fighting like the trailer made it seem like it was but i think it was misleading us i think that um the mind flayer is still going to be very important and this new monster and any other new monsters that might be there will be less important it will be like smaller obstacles that they have to face in order to complete their ultimate goal of getting rid of the mind flayer Speaking of which, how the heck are they going to do that? Because in season two, um, defeating the Mind Flayer was like the main plot, but like they didn't even really do it because even after Eleven like um, was like closing that hole, um, it was like still watching them when they were at the dance at school. So I feel like it's still going to be their biggest threat and I don't know what they're going to do.
Um, the mall also seems really important. I thought it would be because um, one of the things um, that Netflix released, uh, or the Duffer Brothers did, I think, about the season was they were going to have this new mall in Hawkins. And I think that um, the majority of the season, like at least 50% of it, but probably more is going to take place there, especially because Steve's working there. And so is um, that other new character we saw a couple times. And I think that there's going to be a lot of fighting going on there, but I don't know why. I don't know why they would be fighting stuff at the mall. Oh, maybe um, an evil person um, who wants to, like, help. Um, I don't know why they would be helping the monsters. Maybe there could be someone helping the monsters that, like, works at the mall. Like, the person who built the mall there. Or maybe someone who's working with the mayor. Because like I said, I think the mayor's going to be evil. I really do. I think that'd be really cool, too, if they had an evil mayor in their town. That'd be a cool plot line. And they have to defeat the mayor. And, like, everyone is, uh, like, wondering, like, why these kids, like, hate the mayor so much. But they don't know that there are evil things going on. Oh, and there was that um one um scene with, like, electricity and a person wearing a gas mask was like being thrown across the room. I don't know what that was. That, um, I think that might be another monster though. Like there might be, um, I think there's gonna be the Mind Flayer, um, that creepy gooey thing with all the legs and the huge mouth. And then a monster that has electricity powers. And yeah, I think that's what that was. Um, a monster with electricity powers. I don't think that was just like a regular electrical thing that was going on. Well, obviously it wasn't a regular thing, but you know what I mean. I don't think I have anything else to say other than I think this is going to be the best season. Uh, I thought season two was better than season one, and I think that this is going to be even better than season two. And I really hope I'm right. I hope this is not a disappointment. I think there's like an 80% chance this will be the best season and a 20% chance it'll be a disappointment. But we have to wait till the 4th of July to find out. And I knew it was coming in the summer, so it'd be a while, but now that I've seen the date, it's like, ugh, reality is setting in. It's going to be a long time before more Stranger Things, and it's already been too long. So that is where I'll be wrapping things up today. Remember to come back next Friday for another new video from me, and remember that God loves you very much, and I do too. Bye!